Welcome to the Invasion Session 10, Part 2. It's the 17th of June, 2020. I'm Ryan, GM. Here are the players. Hi there, my name is Gregor. I'm playing Adair, who is a bit of a rogue. Hi, I'm Scott. I'm playing Alvin, and I'm back in a book again. Uh, yeah, I'm also an uh, artificer and a gnome, and just an alright, confusing guy to have to be in a party with. Hi, I'm Calman, and I'm playing Cognac, the Barbarian. I love Toast. But was that Cognac, or was it Calum? Good evening, I'm Alexander, and tonight I'll be playing Fleabite the Skaven, who's still pretty terrible at everything. Hello, I am Ewan, and I'm playing Layuda, the Loxodon Druid, who nobody really knows where he is at the moment. Greetings. It is I, Callum B, playing Thea, the Priestess of Chaos! Ah, she's bad. Let us move on. Who's on a day? Eventually it's going to also have to be me then. Be like, oh, hey, hey, I'm, I'm Her Haranin. I don't know what I'm actually doing, but, uh, <laughs> hi. Harani. <laughs> Himani, yeah. Yes, I'm Hermione. I, I play like Dolce a, and Gabbana. Play a black dragon in another game. Um, hi. But anyway, so uh, we find ourselves in a book, and we have a, a book? turtle and a wow. like image of the king of this land, just saying clarify to each other who between uh, Fleabite and Alvin, possibly prompted by a deer. Stops this madness before it's the rest of the session. I'm looking for a way out of this book. This book is racist and won't acknowledge me, so I'm I'm searching. Mm. So yous are still being like clarify, 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 clarify. I mean, I want to stop, but the fact he was like, "You lack willpower." I'm like, hmm. "You have no power here." Yeah, it's not a pride thing for Cockneck. So either like one of you stops it and then I can ask another question or like we leave or whatever. Wait, wait. Has Cockney right. entered rage yet? Not yet. <laughs> okay. Not I yet. will kinda of be like, right, guys, guys, guys. Got a question for the book. Book. What do you think we saw in the guardhouse? I think it, like it turns its like gaze from Cognac slowly. And then looks at Alvin and it says, You have stated that you believe you have seen the long dead Queen Mother, Cynthia von Rune, with gem like teeth. Uh -huh. Whether or not this is accurate. Is irrelevant compared to what the Rune Guard have reported. What have they reported? The acquisition of a former horse come Baru. <laughs> yeah, silly. Yeah. Your involvement <laughs> remains under investigation. It seems. And he just looks at everything in the like the book room. <laughs> Is, is this uh, why you won't tell us about Baru and give us maps to Baru? Oh, wait, he was not going to acknowledge me. Never mind. Also, well, he was asked if um, he had a very specific type of map to uh, Barris, and he mm -hmm. answered that question by saying no. Oh, so does he have any information? I mean, that would have been my next question, but mm -hmm. I can't Does he have a map to Bar from... Of the area? Of? I thought you were... This needing the map too, isn't it? You're I think good? that question was already asked, wasn't it? It was. No. So does he have acquire, any acquire a map or a direct direct? Yeah. So wait, a map or direct directions? So is it a map of Barris or is it a map to Barris? Well, earlier what I asked, which uh, Cognac asked on my behalf, uh, was basically, do you have uh, a map or direct directions to Baru? Uh, and he was unable to give us that information? I think I can get, is it? 
Um, I'll look at the book person and go, hmm, Mr. Book Interface, do you have a map of the way from Runestad to Barris? Yes. May I please have a copy? Yes. And I just kind of like hold out both hands waiting on this like copy dropping on me. I gesture at the man book, whatever. Um, I give him the finger. Yeah, that's fine. I, I need uh, Elvin to do a wisdom save again. Wisdom? Yeah. I'm smart as fuck. I was going to say, could I give him any help on that? Because it is technically for me. No. Right. Ryan. Because you'd have no way of knowing what was happening. Um, Ryan. Uh, true. Could yes. I... I don't remember if I can do this with inspiration or not. No, oh, heck. Can I spend it after a roll? No, you cannot. No, right, cool. No, I just wanted to double check. No, you need to spend um, it to get advantage on the roll. Right, okay, cool. I get you. Yep. Um, but yeah, so I uh, know it's it's kind of worked in your favour, quite frankly. Oh. Uh, yeah, you know the directions. So I know the directions, but I don't have a physical map. Nope. Hmm, okay. Um, I'll just kind of like... Like, see the equivalent of that world map that we've got, where you know, like, yeah. you know, this way is Barris? Yeah. yeah, that's it. That's what you get. I will basically yep. just be like, wow. Um, right, so is it just like kind of a global overview, or can I see roads as well and things? Nope, you just know what way Barris is. Oh, fuck's sake, so it's not really what we needed. It's what you asked for. Yeah. Any known trade routes, Alvin? Like, like what's the most traded... I, I would just say, um, I will just go, well, okay, with this map, okay. Can you now show me what the quickest way from Barris, uh, from Runestad to Barris is? Clarify your method of... Uh... Transportation. What's Guys, the what's the quickest and safest? Oh, well, that will be okay, airship. Right. But um, I'll just say by foot because we're probably going to end up hoofing it. I would say what's the safe. I would ask what's the safest route. Safest would be by air. But Actually, surely we could get. Both routes, the safest and the. Yeah. The Could I? Yeah, I'll try that. Could I get a route by land and a route by air, please? Hmm. I think uh, there's a moment, and then the the image blinks, and then it says, "Clarify your methods of transportation." Hmm. Um, I will just simply then say method of transportation will be by movement of feet. There is no safe route to Barris on foot. Nor what? any mapped route. Hmm. How old are your maps? Alvin, ask it. How old are the maps? Hmm. I just kind of look at him, like look at Adair, and just be like, "I'm not your slave." I will do the map. Won't respond to me. Yes. So Cognac like to say, "How old are the maps?" Do. Yeah. Well, I saw this at all. And uh, the image turns to you, and it says, "The maps are quite current." Mm. Mm, current. Raisins. Mm -hmm. mm, I could go a cookie. Stay current, Alvin. <laughs> current. Um, mm. I'll just look back at them and go, hmm, well, what is the safest route from Runestad to Barris? 
unknown. Is there a safe way by air? It blinks again and then says unknown. I have a question. Does anyone else feel it's getting updates from someone for this information? I'm just trying to think a way that we can get the part uh, the map, but honestly, man, well, we have the world map. Yeah, but, but that's not that's the world, not the map if, of Paris. Yeah, but if the book isn't giving us this information, better than nothing. Mm -hmm, better than nothing and mm. we at least have the option of the sea through Thea and can plan the cross the smallest crossing. The right, land. right. Can you yeah. do me a favor? Can Move you go to the? To the... Yeah. yeah mm -hmm. Thank you, mate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I figured that was coming. Yep. And you see. Right, so party's there. I mean, we can't really get to it by sea. You can get yeah, closer. No, but we can get closer by sea than over all the way land. Yeah, so, like... Do, do, We've do, never seen a chud like, in the sea. <laughs> like that? Uh, yeah, but our boat is currently here. It's, yeah. <sighs> it means right. getting to there and then... The, the, I, I, well, love the that, king... I love that you just do this, though. Do, 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 do. Yeah. But the there's no chuds on land. Lots of chuds. But there is a flying chud ship. One. But a chud ship here. Would you rather, like, take your chances against one ship maybe showing up or, like, having to cross the entirety of land? Mm -hmm. Also, the ship isn't chuds, but yeah. I know it's enemy chuds. <laughs> They're, they're all shut. Oh. They're all <laughs> just a, a global term for enemies, okay. <laughs> yeah, like, Adair isn't, you know, uh, what's, what's the word I'm looking for here? I'm scholar, I think, is the yeah. term. Oh, yeah, oh, hell no. Yeah. yeah. Don't, don't want to be the um, exposition why you do it, but I get the feeling that people don't generally travel to Barris, which is no. possibly why... No, know. they don't, no. Like, some people still think Barris is made up, right? Yes. So yeah, yeah. They, what, like the North can. Pole. <laughs> yes, they know. I suppose the issue with going going by land is there will be no like clear. Everything might end up just being overgrown rubbishiness that you can't really walk through without great difficulty and time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Every here is hard maybe to maybe ask it. how to get close to Barrett. That's a good question for maybe yeah. entering the city is the problem. Yeah, but the problem, I'm we're trying to work out a way to complete that goal. Perhaps we should ask if the map can highlight any known areas of danger along the way. Where are all the chuds on the route? Well, not just chuds, but like anything dangerous. Yeah. Can you hi um, You get like a big, um, just right. uh, this. Colossus, that Remember as well, it's, not, it's the map's in my head just now, so... Yeah, nobody can see a, a map. Like, literally, it was yeah. just put in his head. So we I... Have acquired I a map. What, sorry? We have acquired a map. Mm -hmm. Have we? From it, where? It, it, yeah, you've you, got one. Yeah, the map no, is no, no, in your head. Mm -hmm. No, but Directions it's in my... Directions are in your head. Yeah, but, so read the goal. Ah, um, so we need to get... Acquire a map or directions to Barris. Uh -huh. So we need... I don't know. Am I maybe you. right? Am I just reading this so, wrong or read whatever else is trying to hint at you here, Scott? And I'll just tell you, they're all saying the gold's complete, so don't worry too much about that. Yes. Right. Okay. Am I just there's an or there that might um yeah <laughs> right okay I think also I'm see that part where I said you know the way to Barris. Yeah. That, right. Okay. That was okay, me right. saying you know that. that so, yeah. We're, I think we're, yeah. I, I think I'm we'll just get it's okay. We'll just get really heavy-handed yeah, cool. with it. So like yeah, yeah, cool. Um, right. In that case, um, I'm really pleased everybody else on. clicked on though. Right. Like I'm, I am glad that wasn't too obscure. Um, oh no, we got it. But <laughs> that's okay. Our uh, most intelligent party it. member, you know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he, he, he needs to he clarify. I think it's a misinterpretation yeah. interpretation of the meaning of the or in that sentence. Yeah. Yeah. Um, right. Okay. 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 Let's rewind. I think just, Scott takes the goals maybe too literally, even though yeah. they need to be fairly well worded. But that's fine. At least we're on the same right. page now. 
Right. No book, okay. Pun intended. In that case, I will go and go. Right. Well, I uh, just kind of like shake my head a wee bit and just be like, "Okay, right. New play. I need to think, uh, and I have a question. Book. Is there any record of anyone attempting a resurrection on the King Mother? No, the the Queen Mother." King mother? What would it be? King mother. mother yeah. of, the mother of the king is a better way yeah. to phrase it. The mother of the king. That information is restricted. Who knows this information? The king. King Richter von Rune. Then I shall ask him. Thank you, Book. You are welcome. Where's, and then it repeats where, your full where's name. Where's the mum buried? Aww. It takes a long time, by the way, for it to get through the names, by the way, because he has a lot of them. Okay. Whilst that's happening, I whisper in Alvin's name, where is the Queen's mum's tomb, if you wish to investigate her more? Is she really there? Hmm. That could be something. Dear Book, where was the mother of the king buried? Then eh? it states Don't beneath where it's cremated. Beneath Castle von Run, there is a empty grave to the you know, Cynthia von Run, as the body was never recovered. <gasps> Ooh. Never recovered. So you could not prove her death. Oh, sorry, you could not confirm her death. That information is restricted. Oh. Alvin, where was it not recovered from? What? Uh, it was from when uh, the dragons attacked. Uh... But where, where specifically? Mm. Whereabouts in Rinstad was the queen when the dragon supposedly killed her. Clarify. The queen mother, eh, the, the mother of the king supposedly died during the dragon attack, yes? No. During a dragon attack. No, did you say? Yeah, I said no. The book said no. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Where was the queen when she was supposedly... Where she, where she when she died unknown then how do you know she's dead who gave you that information oh, I can't ask <laughs> it's so frustrating though isn't it it really <laughs> is google how it knows what it knows <laughs> so you take Hold google on, into google, google yeah book <laughs> Is there any way we can aid the investigation of our perceived involvement in the formerly known as horse Baru in custody currently? Clarify. Moments ago, when the Baru was taken into custody we were present and an investigation is taking place on our involvement is there a way we can aid in providing an innocent judgment on our involvement and there's like some silence for a second and then a, the image says if you wish to make an appeal to the king regarding judgment you can and you do this at the gatehouse how do you go about the appeals process state your appeal at the gatehouse Is there a specific wording that would aid in the appeal process? 
unknown. Is there a non rune guard to which an appeal can be made? The appeal will be submitted to one of the rune guard and thus to the king. Mm. That's all I needed to do. Thank you. You are welcome. And it says your full name as well. Alvin kind of ponders for a little bit, like kind of rubbing his chin a wee bit and goes, Book? Would I be able to beat a ring guard in a fight? Clarify. Would I be able to incapacitate a ring guard in a one-on-one -on -one battle? Are you willing to open yourself up for this book to read you? to make this assessment. Hmm. I've never been studied before by a book. It's normally the other way around. This sounds like fun. On you go, book. Study. The others would need to depart for this to take place. I just turn around to them and go, Bye, guys! <laughs> but, like, you all don't need to actually leave. You can just tell him no, right? Just if you have more things you'd like to ask the book. Uh, Alvin, book. I would advise not to do that just yet. But, but, but the queen. But... The queen, indeed. Got the me? queen, queen, before the birth of the king. Queens or kings can precede kings and queens. Clarify. Was Did Queen Cynthia von Roon queen before she gave birth to Victor? No. Hmm. What, what, what was she then? A help. That is she of direct lineage? So it's, More it's, it's, it's going to answer that question, what was she then? As mm. A citizen of Valeria. Here is a que here's a better question. What, what is the uh, known status of the king's father? That information is restricted. What... Um, how did the queenship pass on to her? Was it direct or by other means? And um, can you make a wisdom save for me, Cognac? There's um two answers that come through at the same time like audio overlaid over audio and it's kind of hard to like garble its way through like um but you get two answers at the exact same time when you ask that question and one of them is a very tried and tested that information is restricted and the other one is most unfortunate events followed that action mm. was it by blood like decree or was it I'm asking one of the party to ask this. Uh, <laughs> was it by like, birthright or was it via, uh, I don't know the right terminology, uh, insurrection? I, I don't know. Um, was ruler of Runestad before Cynthia von Rune? What's the actual question there? Sorry, I can't understand it. Who was the ruler of Runestad before Cynthia von Rune? There has been no ruler of Runestad, save King Richter von Rune. Ooh. It was a free city before. Ooh, when did the metal guardmen oh, turn up? How long have the metal Runestad guys been here? Or was that how the king became the king? 
I'm kind of just shouting this out to Cog now, Canavan. Fleabite's there, but he's still looking for a green stone, I think. Um, can you repeat that? Um, well, the Runestad Guard, did they arrive at the same time the King did? Or did the King overpower them in some way? Like, have they always been there and he managed to gain control, thus becoming King? When did the Rune Guard appear? King Richter von Rune introduced the Rune Guard as a peacekeeping force and way of automating most of the functions deemed unsuitable for the citizens of Runestad. And it gives you a random date that is, like, you know, in keeping with his age. Mm -hmm. Like a regular human age, or...? Yeah. Oh, that's actually a very good question, yeah. Um, hmm. What events so. led to Cynthia von Rune attaining power in Runestad? Cynthia von Rune never attained power in Runestad. How long has Runestad been called Runestad? And it gives you a date in keeping with when King Richter von Rune took. Ah, so what was it before and who ruled it before? Skittish. What was Runestad called before it was called Runestad? So obviously the, the man doesn't answer there though sadly, so somebody else had to ask that question. Yes, um, of course. So yeah, we'll just assume that uh, Cognax on, on the trail after you've been prompted, I guess. Um, I'm jumping between him and Alvin, just kind of like jumping hoping one of them will be. Like yeah. We're getting mm -hmm. info. Yeah, <laughs> it's just my like, instincts on, to go, not ask it, ask like, it. My instincts to remember to not answer you are really, really difficult to keep on top of. <laughs> that's all. So I know every time you ask, I should like, ah. every time. I know. I'll say from the. I'll direct my questions to either Alvin or Cognac, yeah, I'll, I'll, or even Fleabite. Yeah, like because I mean Fleabite yeah. is in the room. If it is in yeah. the room, um, but yeah, so. What was the question, Cognac? Uh, how long has it been, or what was it called before? Was that the question? Was it called before. Was it called before. The city of Runestad was formed officially, and it gives you the same date. So, what was it before, Cognac? Does it did, does it have a name, or did it have a name? Is that not the question I asked? No, you asked what was the city called before it was called Runestad, and it said it was named Runestad when it was formed. So it didn't have either didn't have so a name. It or wasn't a formed city before. And um, what yeah. lay here before Runestad was formed? It says nothing, merely countryside. Okay. Next, should we ask what brought King Rooney, King Man, to Runestad Townville? Like, why would you set up a city up here? If nothing lay here, what interested the king in this area? That information is restricted. <laughs> Are there any strategic values in this area? Clarifying. Is there any... Hmm. Cognac, Is... wasn't the dragon presence here before? What kind of dragon presence was in this era before Runestad stood? I think Alvin knows that. I say out of character. <laughs> Alvin's not here right now. Please check in. Red dragons. Minutes. Well, we sort of know that, but is there more to learn from the book, like on our questions? I think there probably is, but I think we're running out of questions that are true. clear to think. I think you've learned quite a good chunk, though. Sorry, right? guys, I, I, didn't yeah. I didn't realize I was muted. Um, what I was going to say is, I don't think I'm, I know about any dragons before Runestad. I just know about the red dragons that were attacking Runestad. Mm -hmm. But. 
I believe there, this was a heavy dragon area before Rinstead. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I was so, told that. Yep, this place used yeah. to be like, you know, mm. overrun. You Bed dragon haven. Yeah. Okay. So could this be built upon like a dragon nest or some shit? I don't know. I'm saying that dragon when he wants to destroy yard. it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the burial ground, I think, is the term, isn't it, right? A, a dragon Are there burial ground. <laughs> Are there any red dragons that possess the ability to create illusions at will and to freeze time for s selected individuals? Not anymore. Good what? question, Kovnak. What happened to the ones that could? It gives you a date, and it says, on this date, King Richter von Rune rid the land of Valeria from the last of the Red Dragons. Clarify. That... <laughs> I do not say that. Is the date in matching of when his mum supposedly died? Or when he came into power? Mm -hmm. Don't know if you have a date for when his mum died. Or suspect of, like when missing kind of panel. Again, I... I don't think you have information about that. What yeah, race is Vic Richter von Roon? Okay, again, the image kind of regarding says human. Hmm. Narrow my eyes and say entirely. Clarify. Has he got some dragon DNA in there? Which I can't ask. Because... This is when we load up Ancestry.com. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, we need to wait at least two months for the test results. Not if you joined their uh, pro subscription. Oh, yeah, yeah, if you pay yeah. for it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like £250 a year or something. Oh, yeah. Cognac can afford that. He's from a wealthy family. <laughs> Who are the current allies of Richter von Roon? I'm speaking about like nation states or large powers. Valeria is not currently in a state of war. She can have allies, non aggression packs, the like. Who is a friend? To Victor Von Ring. Clarify. Which the city of Runestan's allies? Not quite little, apart from, I, I don't know, do we, does Little Belarus, where we come from, count as an ally? Because we did turn up. I'd say we count as an ally. Mm. I'm getting lots of deja vu ourselves. here. I feel like these were asked last time these were in the book, or last yeah. time Evelyn was in the book. Um, but we weren't there, that's why we were asking. Yeah. Um, so and Alvin never told us, so... <laughs> if somebody repeats that question for Adair, um, I guess we'll find out. Uh, Alvin. I mean... I think Cognac's been kind of repeating most of your questions for you, so... Well, it's time you did. Mm. I'm jumping between you guys. Why Why break through this? Looks like pretty bad. So he likes to scratch himself in the corner, giving him, like, a lick. Oh, Fleabite hasn't forgiven me because I said there was a gold, uh, green stone in the corner. What does the king enjoy? Clarify. What are his hobbies? What does he do to pass time when he has his free time? King Richter von Roon is busy maintaining the safety, security and prosperity of Valeria. 
Does there he ride is, fast one? There is no free time in his schedule. Does he like fashion? He likes art. He painted paintings. Uh, it doesn't answer your question. <laughs> when you asked that, I mentioned that. Like, he did paint those portraits in his grand hall himself. I've run out of questions, if uh, uh, anyone else His very uh, weird way of saying that to your dear back in the day was uh, he crafted them himself. You mean crafted, crafted eh? him, yes. You mean painted? And he just moved the conversation on. So, you know, he crafted paintings or pictures. Oh, God, what did he craft them out of? Wishbone. His mother. Oh dear. Oh. What? We're Does asking if you have any more mother? questions. Um, um, is there a warp stone yeah, in this I, city? I, yeah. I've got more questions. Right, it looks yeah. at Fleabite and says clarify. I um, silent image a bunch of um, examples of warp stone and things that it's used for. No, you don't. These warp stone. What? You don't. Oh, I can't. <laughs> um, right. Can Fleabite attempt to? Oh, and... yeah, you definitely try to, but nothing happens. Okay. Uh, then he gets distracted by doing that. Okay. Hmm. Who was Victor Von Ruin's father? That was asked. Yeah, you already asked that, Scott. Hovland. No, I asked what was the status of him. I didn't ask who he was. I weirdly remember you asking who he was, but yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. I asked. No, I he asked. did ask what the status was. Yeah, it was status. Ah. Um, but yeah, it's going to be the same answer anyway. That information is restricted. I would leave you guys some time to think about what your perhaps last remaining questions will be, right? Yeah, do that. Yeah, and uh, we move Please. back to uh, our wonderful, wonderful Thea and Haranen and Alfie. So uh, I think after a mu much ado about nothing, right, uh, he comes out dressed pretty fine, quite frankly. I will let you describe it, Cal. Oh, okay. Um, I guess uh, I think I think Alfie's done a fantastic job. Um, she knows. This is Cal, obviously. She knows she's done a fantastic mm -hmm. job too. Yeah. Especially with the insane time restraints and uh, and um, you know, well, what she has to work with, you know. Oh, she cheated a lot with magic. Oh, that's fine then. Um, so yeah, I think he like. Maybe comes comes out from like the changing shield thing, and uh, can take a step around and maybe the camera does like a pan up from like his his like pretty pretty nice shiny shoes up to like you know those um like long sock trouser tucked in thing things mm -hmm. yeah kind of like that um with some like silvery trimming. Probably not too dissimilar to um, Thea's hair colour. Okay, yeah. Um, like, you know, maybe like up the sides and then maybe kind of across, like just uh, above the knees, maybe. Um, and then he's got this like um, kind of black belt again with a really um, silvery grey buckle uh, with some form of squiggly writing somewhere on it. Who knows what the squiggly writing says? No one can ever read these signatures. Like. No, but I feel like you were asked for, like, design input. Also, Scott, breathing. I know. Sorry? I, I know it's a thing that you need to do, but just move your makeup a bit for me. Thank you, Brad. So, uh, okay, yeah, maybe it would be um, something something weird like... I don't want to say Thea's signature, but 
what would pass as Thea's signature. So Thea's signature. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So it's just like an illegible squiggle. Maybe on the, you know, like the, the, the metal bit that you put the, the bit through. So you've got the buckle part and then you've got that first loop. It's like a cross on that first loop. And up and he's like wearing like pretty, pretty swishy jacket again. Uh, it's quite, it's, I think it's quite a dark jacket again, sort of like lined with that silvery whiteness. And uh, he's not wearing a hat. Okay, yeah. So his hair's a bit. And there's like old. there's like no like tie or cravat or anything obscene like that. It's quite um, quite clean. And uh, he's a uh, standing there and looking awkward as hell, and he's, he's looking up and down. He goes. Does does it look good? And he kind of like looks the... as if he's like hoping not to have offended Elf. He's like, I mean, I know it'll be well made, but do do I shut it? And then you know, maybe like as like the sun is setting in the background, the like orange glow of the light just goes behind him in this you know this majestic um, the Tatooine sort of... theme plays. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I think. I think Thea just like appreciatively nods. And, and uh, yeah. And Alfie's looking at you going, You happy? Very happy. Yes. And I think uh, Thea would just like drop a wee, like an extra um, two silver in her, in her PM. And she looks at them and she goes, Are these for you? Do you want me to make you something now? No, no, just uh, well done for the for for completing on that. Oh no, 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 no! And she like just puts them back, like literally very like you know manhandled manhandles. You like your your hand, take your hand, puts it back in your palm, closes your hand over, and then puts it back. Goes. If I'm not working, I'm not being paid. This was an agreement. They're gold for this. It does look very wedding think- though. I think uh, Thea sighs, puts the money away, and says, Well, dinner? Uh, she goes to answer and says, Oh, you mean him? Huh. And huh. just laughs. Um, yeah, that's a good point. It'll be late. Move. And then just, like, you know, abruptly says that and walks away. And then I guess Thea just starts walking out. Maybe walks past her and uh, to the door. And then if he like doesn't follow straight away, she'll turn and oi. Yeah, and he just like kind of like runs after you. Um, yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's and... at the, uh, the kind of store, as it were. Um, and one of the room guys are standing there, and it says, "Thea to Or, your attention is required at the castle." Uh, let me think. Boof. There we go. Is oh. this your guest? Like motions Indeed. to a uh, Horanon who's like, uh, like kind of almost not cowering behind you, but not far away from it. You know. Yeah. Um. I think yeah. She just says indeed. Kind of nods, and then it says, "Please follow me," and off it walks. And uh, she looks at her Anon and motions for him to lead. He kind of like gets the hint and like, you know, quickly like does that kind of two-step shuffle thing and runs a wee bit to catch up and mm-hmm. take over. And then he's like, uh, yep. and she do, do, kind I, of do I take your arm or do you take mine? Or he kind of puts his arm out awkwardly, like, not sure he, like, you know, teapot or spout it, you know. I think she'll like, you know... Yeah, she grabs like the inside of his like elbow, but it's not um, very elegant. Mm-hmm. It's um, somewhere between trying to like be gentle and thingy, but more like you know a grab. Yeah, I mean, you're coming with me. Yeah. Somewhere in between that. And Thea's just to be, you know, you know, saved from like falling overboard on the oh. ship if need be, right? Or like moved out the way of. You know, boarding actions and shit like that. So yeah, it's probably yeah. a bit more manhandly than that. Yeah. 
it's fine. Uh, yeah, and these are just like led towards the gatehouse, I guess. I am through town. Uh, yeah, so as you are heading up there, uh, the camera does that thing where like you're maybe like heading into the the gatehouse, assuming you're not wanting to go anywhere else in town first. Uh, I don't think there's anywhere else that like unless something super eye catching comes along and she goes ooh. Um, and but I, I don't think so. She said she's quite in interested in seeing what the king has to say over dinner as well. Right. Okay. And um, he's, he's a very in like th that sort of interesting power. The um. Yeah, you head that way anyway. Right. So you get to the guard house. I think that's fine. And uh, the camera does that thing where it pans away up from the guard house and follows over itself away up the path, um, and then into. Uh, the castle itself and then down through like a bunch of floors in the castle and uh, we get into a fairly like just like dark room um, there is a a bed in the middle of the room uh, there is like a little candle burning um, to give off some light uh, and then yeah there is an unconscious Baru Lying there. Also, if Maggie's gonna keep typing, can you mute? Um, so the uh, Baru wakes up, kind of choking, catching your breath, and <laughs> um, can I throw one of my um? pieces of carved tat. Why? You're not in this. Oh, no. Sorry. My brain did a thing. I assume I'm not there. <laughs> You're not. You. We left you okay. as you were being led to the guardhouse, the kind of gatehouse room. Yes, that's right. Then the camera moved and left you to it. Implying, okay. yes. implying you were the only one on track for part, dinner. And it was like, and then you come in and then there's the room and a candle. I was like, oh, wow. Okay, nope. this is getting interesting. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Ignore me. See your travels by no clipping mode. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we get so to is it, is it similar to like the old cells that were in the other time? Uh, no, there doesn't seem to be any doors or anything when you kind of like sit up and look around, I guess. Um, Just a room with no doors, a bed and a candle. Yep. Nobody else in the room. Nope. Um, it looks like there is a like a kind of bedside table with like a kind of I wouldn't say ornate but fairly ish kind of like maybe ceramic bowl that was full of water but now seems to be like dirty. Dirty with like blood or hard to tell in the lighting but it's a fair guess. Can it? <laughs> Am I? Have I got like bandages wrapping around me or? Uh, no, they seem to be like you know sat next to the the bowl stained. Have I got any visible wounds or anything, or does it look like it's been like magically healed? Uh, nothing you can see, but you can give me a medicine roll if you want. Yeah. Badoosh. You're a bit too soon in the badoosh. 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 I can't tell. <laughs> I mean, fair. I've just. I feel like you food. feel like you don't know how much time has passed, and you probably. Okay. I have maybe written off the fact that you don't see any obvious wounds as <laughs> when am I? Yeah, okay. Um, so, just walls, no door. Can I investigate the walls to see if there's any kind of thing that might give way or any hidden doors? Yeah, 100%. Give me some uh, investigation. To be fair, right, if we keep going this way, you're going to get a 7 next, and then an 8. <laughs> just, right, well, I'll we'll check you want to do next. Right, I was going to say, you're just obviously just, you're still groggy. I was right? going to do a bunch you know, of really You need a warm up, ones, yeah, you need to do some warm yeah. up rolls here. Um, just going to try and stealth against the video. Maybe it's, <laughs> maybe it's when you um, you start, like, you get out of bed and you go to, like, check the walls and stuff, you, like, stagger a bit, because, like, you know, yeah. your legs kind of give way, and you're like, oh, it's after I... Just because I've broken up, yeah. Yeah, like After it. a hefty night on the town, he's just finding his bearings. <laughs> Still Whoa, hangover. Where? Because it's, <laughs> yeah. it's the hangover Baru edition, yeah. Um, <laughs> one night in Runestead, yeah. So, yeah. Hey. yeah. 
Oh, well, what else is there to check? Um, so yeah, like, what, what do you do after that? You kind of like, you know, you're maybe not a hundred percent able to like go into full on detective mode. Say hello, and see if there's any answer. Yes, you definitely can. And uh, you hear a hello from like the corner of the room. Hey, thank God it wasn't clarify. <laughs> Clarify. Damn it, I'm in a book as well. <laughs> Why are the hospitals in books as well? Um, uh, yes, it is a female voice that you hear say hello. Um, and on that note, we cut back to the people in the book. Any last Clarify. questions? <laughs> no, gonna, I can't. I was going to say, I'm going to give you all the opportunity to do one more question each before we... I uh, have so many now. Yeah. <laughs> Cognac, I believe. Uh, well, um, actually, let me just bring up the chat again. Sorry, uh, we were discussing it. Yeah, that's the problem. So yeah, I let's mean, just let's just assume I... it's four questions that you get right. Let's assume it's four based on the fact that I knew somebody would bring up, but there doesn't get a question. <laughs> I have a question. I mean, I was going to say I don't get a question. That's why I wasn't ready. I know. Um, but as I said, you all get. I just mean more from a time management thing for the game. You all get one more each. Um, I would mean, still be maybe. interested, apart from Little Bellamore, who are Runestad's allies? Who does he believe allies of Runestad are? Okay. But that's, what that's was it um, Cognac question. was going to ask? Um, it was more to do, I'm not entirely sure how to word it, but... Um, right, well, why, why do you mean you talk about it, right? You tell me what you want to know. Um... <sighs> Damn it, now I remember the other question. God. <laughs> Fleabag, I want to ask you the question. Can I, can I take Fleabag's question? <laughs> <laughs> Is that your question? <laughs> Fleabag does have a question. Okay, go for it, Fleabag. You seem the most put together. Is there any Skaven in Moonstack? <laughs> Heard Steven instead of Skaven. <laughs> yeah. a, like a hundred twenty Stevens. It's a very common name. <laughs> Clarify between P H and V. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, it says um, clarified term Skaven. Thargaki, underbeast, fury gets anything. Me. What is there? And in the world, have you ever seen anything like me? No. If you are indeed Skaven, there is one in Runestead. I think that would just, as Fleabite tries to come to terms with that, so he probably wouldn't say anything else. Mm -hmm. Adair would put his hand on uh, your shoulder just to be kind of be like, it's okay, we'll find your people one day. It's probably one of the first times that Fleabite hasn't tried to bite anything that comes close to him. Because mm -hmm. he knows if he did, that would stab him. I don't think he even noticed. <laughs> Fair enough. At least I'm trying my part as a party member. Yeah, but it's a nice scene of the you go up and actually like, you know, comfort him and there isn't the automatic, oh god, reaction of Fleabite being like, don't touch me. Um... That means a lot, because normally he does react that way, so I'm... I'm aware of. I mean, I try. Uh, Fleabite tries to nip at you, even if you're just close by. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sometimes Fleabite will it's move been closer. Two years. Fleabite secretly rearranged all the sleeping arrangements in the warehouse so he could be closer. <laughs> really, it's an affection thing. Um, it is. Right. So that's why I put my hand, and he accepts. I can't think of any. So if anyone else wants another one. How does one become a citizen of Runestad, and who were the original citizen? So that's your two questions. <laughs> I have a very specific want, but I don't know how to ask it in one question. I so told you, talk to me, talk, Mangy to Ryan. Tell me what you well, want to word, and I will help you um, word it. Uh, Adair in the Discord brought up that the citizens seem very strange 
and he's, he thought they were scared, which I didn't think at all. But I'm imagining that if the city is seemingly run entirely by robot men, it brings into question the like the where the people themselves came from, whether or not they're all human or whatever, or I think from why, why did they go part, along with it? Like from from Adair's part, when we were in the bar and we started talking about the king, the people took like we need to defend him, and I'm kind of like, no, why? That's Adair's point. Like, yeah, so and if Adair mm. says that as like them being fearful of the repercussions of people speaking out against the king, that's fair enough. Other people like Cognac mm-hmm. might see it as pride. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it can be two things, right? Yeah, yeah. definitely. Or neither. Maybe they just wanted mm-hmm. to fight because it's so quiet in town. They don't really sell weapons that aren't for like hunting. I could. <laughs> Guys, we have a career here. We just <laughs> need to sell arms. I guess I just wanted clarity on whether they, the citizens are what they seem. Mm. Okay, so why don't you ask about the people of Rundstad then? Or, because keep in mind, Rundstad's oh. a city and the country is called Valeria. What brought the people to the city? It's not I a bad guess question. Would be, yeah. It was the top of a mountain that's. They appear to not really deal with anyone else so why would anyone move there I mean for that reasoning though they're also doing pretty damn well mm-hmm. this is very true as well <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, why I thought it's the elitist was, club like, isn't it it's like the elitist the club <laughs> I mean that shoe salesman he's doing amazing mm-hmm. well he sold shoes to an elephant that doesn't need them yeah <laughs> I mean he's brilliant his job he's wasted in this town <laughs> He'd be the cabbage guy from Avatar, yeah. you know? Cabbage Corp. Hundred <laughs> percent. So yeah, Cognac, like, um I'm still not really sure the like I think I used trying to that, like ask, are the people actually people? Is the vibe I'm getting? Yeah. But like Are all citizens of Runestad human? Is maybe the closest question to that, right? But then like if there's like one single baru among, you know, like I'll get like an obtuse answer, like, no, there is blah 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 blah. <laughs> See, I suddenly realized, I mean, Cognac, would it be worthwhile asking, is there any, I don't want to say rebel element of Runestan, but is there any. Country culture? Yeah, like people that are a problem from. Because if you asked, are the people of Runestan happy, of course they're. Be- just gonna say, I was yes, gonna say, yeah, I'll, I'll give you that one for free. Like, let's face it, if you're gonna speak yeah. to the fucking like um, propaganda book, it's definitely gonna oh. be like, yes, the people so of Rundstad are happy, obviously. So say is the there king. a problem area of Rundstad, like a, a, not a slum, but a because I, I assume this town wouldn't accept a slum. Yeah, the clo- a... Keep in mind that Thea did go to a slightly less than um, it wasn't in any way what I would call a slum, but it was more. <laughs> free form, shall we say, of the marketplace that she went to remember. So mm-hmm. there is a slightly more free form place, but that's it. Like, it's slightly the question. And it's nothing to do with that. Because <laughs> I can't decide. But um look, um prior to our arrival in the city, our R being the entire group including my two companions not present what was the last crime committed in the city, and when was it, and what was its punishment? Mm. That's not the book, that's Ryan. Mm. But also, that's, that's a happens. brilliant question. Yeah. It's Ewan's question. It is indeed. Hmm. Because it's a, it's a um, sizable city, so the the answer is quite telling. Just don't say it was a bell from the library. Um, no, because it said prior to the arrival. Ten minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. He, did, he, he covered it by saying prior to the arrival of you guys. But that would have been brilliant if it... Yeah, yeah, so yeah there's a... That bell just happens to get stolen all the time, and that's why Jezebel didn't care. Actually, Jezebel stole the bell. 
<laughs> That's how she got the job originally. Her name was just Jessie before she got herself like known for something. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't steal the job. <laughs> oh dear. And she also sold off all the books that are supposed to be here. So there is that. Yeah, that's so. why she's only got one left. She can't get rid of it. You know, nobody ever comes to the library. This is like a free job. Um, okay, enough buying. Wow, Ryan her backstory time. is impressive. To be honest, yeah. Who knew such things about Jezebel? Um, yeah, I think the answer to that is um, there were incursions upon the city but no crimes were documented and it dates back like you know I think it just says in living memory living memory of the king who made the city it doesn't say it just says in living memory living memory of a barrier that's 400 years old <laughs> it's very big <laughs> mm. Well, I'm not going to answer another, ask another question. So, if anyone wants to build on that, they can. Yeah, like what? Uh, what to take from that? Really, I was going to say, what to take from that? Really, is that you know, there aren't any crimes in Runestad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hence, why the guards don't patrol the cities, and hence why all the criminals don't... are killed. What about the crime of elephant being a horse? That's just what? against humanity in general. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> so I think you have asked what one, I mean, that's a very two, racial fucking three question. questions, right? Is that three you've asked so far? I think that is right. Yeah. So, uh, one more. It doesn't matter if uh, you know Gregor so, says it. Um, <gasps> I, I, I just no, I, but it does matter who says it to the book. But somebody can ask your question for you if you've got one. Does anyone else have any questions? No. See, I, I feel, feel like, like I did something say something about forgotten sure. people. Yeah. Like, are they real people, considering none yeah. of them are doing crimes? Or what yeah. What? What possesses them to... That's what I was trying to get at before, yeah. but I didn't know how to ask, ask it. Yeah. So what's influencing them to be so loyal, yeah. or... To commit no crimes. Yeah. Uh, book. It looks at you. What has influenced the people to commit no crimes in living memory given that in the average state of the world command uh, crimes are committed constantly this is not an average part of the world this is the country of valeria but what makes it so Clarify. What specifically about the city of Runestad has caused its citizens to be so valiantly opposed to committing crime? Unknown. You're breathing on your mic again, Scott. Sorry. Stop. Are the citizens real? So we're just going to do the, here's a million questions now. Yep. Is that what we're doing? <laughs> That's my last question. My very, very last one. Clarify. I knew that was coming. It's a weird question. Like, are they real <laughs> citizens or are yeah. they like, you know, adopted citizens or are they real people that are citizens? Yeah. Like, yeah, it's a bit the of question, a... question, are they human is probably... Or are they dancer? It's ah, you beat me. So clarify was the response you got. What, what, what you got? Okay. Anything, Cockneck, as a response to clarifying your question? What is... Hmm... <laughs> The oh, meaning of life. Yes. <laughs> Are the citizens human? Yes. I 
feel like that so answers the question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could ask a million questions and be here till sunrise. So, um, We've got a dinner date, so... Based on yeah. that, then, is Alvin going to chuck everything out the book, or he's all going to leave the book together? Yeah, that thing would all leave the book together. So he has the power to throw us out? So you don't want to... It's because well, Alvin wants to be studied. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a good point. He obviously forgot about that, but yeah. Yeah, sorry, man, I'm, I'm getting tired. Um... Yeah, um, I will turn around to everyone and say, well, if you are done, can you get out, please? I sort of turn to everyone and say, should we attempt the appeal process? The gatehouse. I believe that might be the best option to get our our friend back. and We want him back, right? Mm. <laughs> I mean... We also have a dinner reservation, so do we want to smart up and do our hair and shave well, and wash? The same way. Yeah, but do we have time for both? I mean, really? Uh, you never multitask. Change on the way. Okay. <laughs> I, mean, I was going to pluck my nose hairs, but I guess getting Lyota back is... Uh, I mean, it's a fair walk up the, uh, the road to the castle, so, I mean... Dude, I can not pluck my nose hair and walk. Unless you're walking up the castle. Yeah, but if you fall off, you've got levitate, so you're actually, you know, of all the people. You know, a big right? floating naked <laughs> blue man. <laughs> As he shaves his legs ready for the king. What is your three wishes? <laughs> across the entire city. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he does that every day. A floating naked blue guy shaving his legs. <laughs> well, it doesn't you know, matter. Want... citizens aren't even real. They won't, they won't mind. <laughs> To be honest, if you want a good sherry, you've got to levitate up to the fresher water. So, mm -hmm. you know, that, I'll yeah. just levitate up with a bar of soap and wash up there. It's great. <laughs> just just watch drop out for that soap. white foam soap. <laughs> anyway, so, does everybody else um, wish to leave the book? Yes, indeed. I leave. I mean, you wish to leave. I wish to leave. Yes. Flea bite. Three bite just sort of climbs up on the, the turtle shell and wishes to leave. Okay. So yeah, the um all perception stops for the three of you that wish to leave and we, we stick with Alvin briefly. And uh the big says So you wish to be studied? Yes. It'd be interesting to know what you find. Ideally, the That's answer to your question. Oh, damn it, I just thought of a question. <laughs> <laughs> Post don't, on IM, yeah. Tell us what the question is just now. Why not, before you forget it, so it's recorded. It was literally what the book meant by the willpower, not like enabling the question, what it meant by that. Like, why couldn't the Genasi... Oh, but never mind. That's... Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, Alvin, uh, you are faced with the image of a uh, Richter of Ruin. Because that uh, could be why the Genasi don't control the thinging these thingies anymore. Yeah. And he says, uh, "Open your mind to me." And just kind of be like, "Okay," and just kind of think of my head opening. And uh, there's like white light that emanates from his eyes normally, and then it all starts to like you know get brighter and brighter and brighter. And he opens his mouth, and white light just pours out of that, and then the entire place goes blinding white. And then uh, all of you, can I come to with the slamming of the book on the plinth closed? As Alvin's just kind of standing there. Uh, the answer was unknown to your question, Alvin. <laughs> But these are all back in that room that the uh, <laughs> Jezebel left you in, with the book closed on its stand. I'll just kind of like shake it off and be like, "Ah, I am hungry." You said out. <laughs> yeah, apparently so, because no one else is 
acknowledging anything. Yep, nobody's yep. talking. Nope. Too hungry. Everybody's quiet. No, no reactions from weird book situation from MD, from Fleabike, Cogback, Adair, or... Alvin. I imagine Cogback's ruminating on the whole thing. Okay. What about Fleabike? What is Fleabike? Yeah, saying? Fleabike just... Um, I guess... He's now come back to just randomly in the room. He repeats his just gets back on the back of the, the turtle shell. Mm -hmm. And I... Uh, yeah. Uh, you set outside and then... Yeah, like, Jezebel's leaning against the... the wall with, like, two empty sticks in her hand and one of them still half-eaten. She's working her way through. And she says... Oh! I am... Um, the guard are outside for you. Let's go. And then, uh, down the corridor she walks. Close. Yeah. Let's follow her out. I do. So the librarian asks us all to leave? To go see the guards that She's, was outside. She nodded down the corridor and said the guard are waiting outside to speak to you. And then off she walked, munching. And her meat on a stick that she's clearly had several Sorry. of. My dear, um, do they wish to speak to us all, or just someone in particular? Like, I think she's tearing off a bit of meat from the cigarette. Oh yeah, seems like all of you. Hmm. I'm just going to invite you to dinner. Gentlemen, we don't have Alvin. You do? Yes, you do. Yes, we do. Yeah, sorry, I was away for a moment, I do apologise. No, you all have Alvin. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's all four of us. Um... I mean, yeah, I mean, the the guard did say we would be summoned, so this might be the summoning to go see the king. I mean, this this is where it's just, you know, John Spartan, you've been fined one credit for violation of the <laughs> bell morale. <laughs> yes. I will continue, because goddamn learning the three seashells. Yeah, right. right. Screw that. <laughs> Which dad's complicated enough. Are people real? Yeah. And then... <laughs> But yeah, so yeah, you get to like the, the lobby and then there is, there's like a two of the rune guards standing and I, they address the group and say your presence at the castle is requested immediately. Please follow. And then... I, sh I shall follow? Yeah, and then they start heading towards the gatehouse, I guess. I start getting undressed. <laughs> Out your shell? Um, yeah, I don't think I actually have any clothes on. You wear two cloaks, <laughs> that's it. Two I have cloaks fine the shell clothes and already e equipped, apparently. So I guess I'm pretty fine looking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pretty fine. Mm -hmm. so I guess I won't get changed. But the guards, pretty, pretty do they do pretty like pretty. the... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, do the, the guards do what they did before, like one leads and then one takes flank? Uh, or do they both lead? No, like follow us or one leads, one waits. Right. Just for my mental image. That's right. No, it works. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. They want to bracket you in, ideally. Well, make sure none of us go Get wandering lost. off. Flee by. Or Oops. Alvin. God, why is it the small ones want to just wander off? Because it's fun. No, because the biggest one's the one that's caused the most trouble in the city. Even though one of them has yeah, successfully stole something twice. <laughs> you can't prove that, shut up. The big ones are a bit less subtle. <laughs> <laughs> What's best is, I think I've got the best sleight of hand and whatnot at all years, but I ain't trying to steal nothing. Mm -hmm. you were, You're just so good at it that we you, don't know. And you you don't were know. definitely going to steal a crossbow had they had one, though. Let's not, like, no, you know, split hairs. I was... <laughs> Interested in acquiring um, it, perhaps uh, not partaking with the partition of my money. It depended how much it cost and how good it was. I mean, if he'd pulled out like a plus two crossbow, yeah, I'd have been back there in like half an hour. But you can no, maybe tell why there's no invasion I... here if people had plus two crossbows <laughs> kicking around. Exactly. Um, but no, I'm I'm not that kind of rogue. So I'm to summarise, guys, is MD in the group not just following the robots? Let's put it that way. Let's. Onward. Fleabite, Alvin. Fleabite is 
is for the, for quite a while through it's just gonna be holding on to the, the turtle and wherever the turtle goes he will be on. Mm-hmm. Just kind of deep thought mode, I guess, for Fleabite, is it? I know, this is first for everything. Mm-hmm. Fleabite, watch out if he goes to the gentleman's room, because he is a barbarian, and, you know, he's a big guy. Yeah, but to Fleabite, that's probably like a luxury hotel, right? <laughs> so, I mean, come on. Um, right, it's Alvin. a fee of all kinds. Alvin, any, mm. like, you know... Did... Any gravity bombs to drop on us? Yeah. Nope. Any, any um... derailment? <laughs> nope. I'm good to just keep going. Cool. So yeah, user then led also to the, the kind of gatehouse slash guardhouse, and uh, yeah, I think we we have a brief scene where um, you see Thea with a very finely dressed man who may or may not look slightly familiar. Are we allowed to make Jason calls when we first see her and him, like <laughs> kind of stuff? I mean, I don't know. This looks like some random noble she's picked up. You know, last you seen, uh, had... she just wandered off. Sorry, I think I got disconnected there for a wee second. Welcome back. Well, wasn't it in the bar that she met him? Like, yeah, but he doesn't look like that anymore. He looks way better. Almost ooh, unrecognizable. Uh, uh, <sighs> Hence the somebody you almost recognize. Oh, sir, we'll let to see what happened to the the farm boy. <laughs> yeah, you can definitely say that if you wish, yeah. <laughs> hey, Thea, what happened to your farm boy? Thea ignores... <laughs> Behind her intrigued mask, and um, I think I paid three three gold for you to see him. Like uh, I think Haradin just looks awkward, and it's like you know that you, you red face. See when you know somebody isn't comfortable with what they're wearing, right? Uh huh. That that is Haradin right now. I don't Cognac. think he notices that either. Cognac is the farm boy. Um. I sort of narrow my ar- my eyes, and my arms, if, if that's yeah. what I wanted to say. <laughs> Narrows um, the arms. Wait, what? <laughs> this is a power I had? Uh, and I, I just sort of... Mm, I think it is. Oh, she dressed him up. Uh, I didn't know your tastes were so... Noble, Thea. I'm surprised, Thea. I mean, is this what you want in a man? Uh, I think a little bit of a red glow appears around her her right hand. <laughs> <laughs> and she is from the Thea, so isn't she? And uh, her hand's probably on her uh, left hand side, so probably can't see yeah. that, and probably just looks awkward still. Like, you know, <laughs> oh god, why why are these people like? assholes basically <laughs> <laughs> oh it's friendly banter you'd know that uh, f- yeah Would a, bu- <laughs> a bunch of a bunch of really eccentric race people come in and then just say oh, I thought you liked farm boys but you like this <laughs> nerd no, what basically. happened to your farm boy <laughs> but no, it would be all in friendly jest I would even like Palms out, sort of gesturing, you know, hey, like, <laughs> the font, <yeah>. awkwardly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, I I make no aggressive. This is not bullying or anyway. This is just banter between comrades. Mm. I don't know why I keep using the word comrade, but I love it. So, um, <laughs> anybody else? I gotta get that flea bites maybe lost in thought. Hmm. <sighs> See, yeah, you did so well with your farm boy. Could, if we were to shave flea bite, could you maybe do something similar? <laughs> flea bite is perfect the way he is. Oh. W- w- which one's flea bite? Um, Theo just says the rodent. Oh. Kind of like half waves and kind of stops. Yeah, but he's holding on to the back of Cognac's shell, just like. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. 
But it's, it's also why he just he half waves and realizes that Fleabite's not paying attention to him. Hmm. So, well, shall we um, carry on? Alvin, I believe I cut you off for a moment there, sorry. Did you? <laughs> yeah, you were going to say something <laughs> and I cut you off. That's the stupid joke. No, but I'm going to say it. All good then? Yeah. I mean, Thea's not going to regard anyone until they're like at the gatehouse or outside the gatehouse. These or are all when they've the, these stopped. Are, these are all in the gatehouse. Is this because you're still on a date? Oh, right. Sorry. Yes, okay, these, are, these are all in the gatehouse. But she's still on a date, so, she, you know, she doesn't want to noggle jazz till. If we're in the gatehouse, do we have time to, like, go to um, try petition the. Lyuda, I don't think we do now because I mean, guards have come and got us. I mean, you're at the gatehouse. Where are you told yeah, to? Yeah, we are. Sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, fuck it. Why not? Sorry, language. Eh. I try my best not to. I mean, that's where earlier. I think, I think once we left, like when, when we got to the gatehouse, then I think Thea would turn around and like say, "Where's Lyuda?" I were trying to sort that out just now. Lyuda uh, I think with that then, if there is nothing else to have in that scene, if that is the scene, we uh, fade away from you guys. And it kind of just cuts us to, where's Lyuda? And everybody just looks at Thea, and then it cuts to Lyuda. I turn around to see... Who's standing in the corner? There's smoke coming from like the dark corner, you know, all in shade and very atmospherical lit, so you can't quite see who's in the corner. But I recognize a voice as a woman. Hell yeah, you do. Do I know which woman? I'm guessing so. Yeah, you do. And yeah, of course it's okay. Cynthia. Now it's just Alfie okay. who's randomly got lost. <laughs> <laughs> like, Borkers. <laughs> Borkers. I think the first thing I would say is, where am I? And like she kind of like leans out of the shadow, and she's got like one of those kind of like cigarette holders. Um, and I, she kind of comes into the light. She's got like a massive grin, with this thing like stuck between her teeth, and uh, she's like, "Is that really the first thing you've got to say to me?" She just kind of grins. You are the mother of Richter, I assume. She kind of like does a little thing with her eyes, as if like. Mm. Then, I have nothing more to say. I just wish to get away from here, get out of the city. But not necessarily from me or my son. Just this city. She grins again at you. Your son has asked my friends to go on a quest that I don't want a part of. Other than that, I have no particular quarrels with him. Other than... A quest, you see. And then she takes a big long draw from like the cigarette holder that's got the cigarette at the end as it glows. And then she says... She blows it out like her nostrils. Kinda, what kind of quest would my son need of you? Especially one you don't wish to take you. part of. Did he not tell you? Just grins and takes like another long draw. She's still kind of half in shadows, half out. I saw you coming from the direction of the castle earlier. I assumed you'd, talk, you'd spoken to him. And she just blows smoke out again. Assumptions are dangerous things, my Baru friend. She kind of like does that thing with her eyebrows, suggestively. Um, I have no intention on heeding your son's requests. We are already on our own quest and must return to Little Bellinor. It looks like she's kind of like thinking about what you're saying. She goes, hmm. 
Yeah, I don't know if I care. Um, but what would he want you to do, and why you? Can you get me out of here? I got you in here, and she smirks at that. So where is here? No, again, this isn't a. She takes a big draw. And she's talking, it all comes out of her and like, This isn't a you ask me questions, I answer things deal here. Perhaps you so were. you're holding me prisoner. It would seem like it. And she kind of laughs at that. Like, I, I haven't found a door yet, have you? And kind of just Don't like break it shrugs. And <laughs> um. Don't pet again your rules. <laughs> 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 Much like when Cognac, I wanted to ask about how him will does work this. I'm like, because he rolled a five. I'm still I have a headache. And, yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Um, but yeah, she like shrugs playfully at that, you know. What do you need to know to let me out of here? Mm. It really depends on what you know and what seems worth it, doesn't it? And she kind of just kind of like smiles at you. Like, but I don't really have any interest keeping you. It's just. You don't seem to be so forthcoming, so if I have to coerce you, I guess I will, right? She smiles and like all of her jeweled teeth glitter from like the light from like the candle. And then she says So what does my son need of you and your friends? So Um so it seems you're not so Necessarily on the best terms with your son. Is that a question? Which, uh, and she like takes a big draw of the uh, cigarette. If it has an answer, yes, it can be. Most questions have an answer, but again, she grins. I think I was asking the questions. I am attempting to answer them. <laughs> and she just looks at you with like a really kind of like yeah right face. She's like, mm, try better. I think that he'd play on the fact that um, the, the comment about assumptions earlier and say, I assume that you are not on the best terms with your son, in which case I feel like I would be more inclined to answer your questions than follow his will. In this case, um, your son has asked us to go on a quest to Barris. And that explains you. Why don't you want to go to Barris? I am no longer welcome there. Huh. She just seems kind of shocked by that. Goes, okay, but how about my full question? What are you supposed to do for my son? There's... We're supposed to scramble an egg. <laughs> Zuga! <Yeah. laughs> Is there any way that he could not say that? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Which, let's put this right, we're checkpointing a lot of weird loyalty here from from yeah. Lauda. Which is interesting. Yeah. Well, well, he just wants to get the hell out of here, and she's the only way you can see how to, and so trying to give as little information as possible to mm. get out of here <laughs> without <laughs> causing too much trouble. So you use well, the words now that the phrase he aimed without to an egg. causing too much trouble is maybe how you got in this room. <laughs> yeah. Montage of the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> loudest yeah, best but I mean, bits. Yeah, in her room, not like a jail mm. in Runestad, so. Yeah, right. Hmm. Also, we know because of the audience oh. gaming cheating, we know it's in the castle somewhere. Yeah, okay. But that's gaming. Wait, so you're in her room, not in a cell? Can I cast Detect Magic? Uh, can you cast Detect I Magic? I have one spell slot remaining, and it is VS. It does not require materials. Yeah. Sure. Sure. So I am going to cast Detect Magic. Cool. She waves her hand and counterspells it. Nah. And she says, I think there might have a magic there then. And then she says, she taps like the, the ash off the end of the um, the cigarette. And then she says, You didn't answer my question. 
takes another draw of it. Why should I trust you? She tilts her head to the side and gives like a look that maybe Theo would have given you, which is a slightly crazy look. Um, just slightly like unhinged, you know, almost eyes crossed type look. Mm. And she's like, I never said you should trust me. I said answer my questions and I'll get you out of here. Does Lyuda know about the whole Red Dragon thing to do with her supposed death? Mm, I don't remember if Alvin told you that much. I think Alvin screamed a lot about Red Dragon's dangerous city, crazy red woman, possibly she's a red dragon. Maybe, yeah. Like, okay. So something to do with the red dragons and her. Yeah, that's that's valid. I think and you know there's at least something, right? Yeah. That Alvin yeah. thinks so anyway. I assume you know of the red dragons. She kind of like gives you like a disappointed look and starts shaking her head. And like draws her cheeks in as she's like, you know, taking in more of her cigarette. And she's kind of like playing with it and she like puffs out in smoke a dragon. And all the smoke's red. Mm -hmm. And she looks I told at you. you she's a dragon! And she looks at you and she goes, You're, um. Still to answer my question though. This is part of the answer. I don't think so. So, so far I've got you and your friends are important enough to come all the way here, which is weird in itself, pester my son, then he thinks you are important enough to go to Barris, and you want to know about red dragons. She just grins at you. If you like, I can tell us our, the history of ourselves over the past few years. That won't be necessary. That's why we I are just so need to know what my son asked you to do when in Paris. It's very simple, in fact. He asked me to help my group get into Paris. I see. Hmm. She thinks about it for a bit. And she goes to like take a draw and then realizes her cigarette's kinda like done. And kinda looks disappointed. And just kinda flicks it on the ground. You hear the the clattering of like the wood. And uh she says yeah. The hell is she smoking? Well, it was in a cigarette holder. <laughs> All right, I'm like the clattering of the wood. She was smoking a log. She was smoking through a big long, you know, cigarette holder. And uh, oh, classy. Yeah, right. And uh, she throws that across the room, like just on the floor, and it clatters away. And she says, mm, "Yeah, I don't. I just feel there's more to it, you know." He just stares at Lyuda. Yeah, it's probably yeah. probably a lot of the looks she's given, to be honest. It wouldn't be terrible casting Glenn Close, to be honest. <laughs> um, I think uh, uh, Lyder would say, um, I was not present for the full briefing. And I must say, I wasn't particularly paying a lot of attention to your son's demands. Like, she's almost like... Like body language egging you on to like come on, yes, almost there. Mm hmm mm hmm Our eyes are like really wide. In fact, I was in the form of a panther when in that room. For someone Panthers so worried and, and she's like, for someone so eager to move on, you're a lingering soul. Question is if I don't answer, my life may be forfeit. But if I do answer, what is to be done with the life of my group? Those are all good questions. She just smiles at you. But mine first. We've been asked to retrieve an egg. Oh, an egg. What egg? And she's like shakes her head like the, as if the oh mystery egg, but what egg? You know. And she looks at you. Jabiru lay eggs. Yes. <laughs> that is no part of this world. <laughs> uh, no, they don't. She asks this. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Um Fuck it. I mean this is going nowhere else, is it? So 
A red dragon. Seduce her. Seduce her, sir. <laughs> he hears in the back of his head. Yeah, on the wind. Wait, what? There's a window? <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm, I'm an air genasi. Wrong. Um, so yeah, you say a red dragon egg. I do, because I am useless as any kind of charisma skills. And she, um, like in her eyes, kind of go away. So the Baru have a red dragon egg? No. Huh. Your son is under the impression they do. Right. I do not believe it. She just looks at you like, kind of, again, like, somewhere between shocked and eager, right? And she's like, let's go have a look. And she just walks forward and then just, like, um, pushes you onto the floor. Uh, when you hit the floor, uh, it echoes. And you end up in a massive kind of vaulted chamber that has like lighting from above shining down on a massive red egg in the center of the chamber. And she just Holy stands shit, there man. and she just stares up at it. And she's like, oh no, see, they do. And we cut for the end of the session there. I half expected it to be she pushes them down the floor and bound to go wow wow. <laughs> oh god. No. I mean, there's a bird in the room. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the um, kind of camera zooms way out, obviously, on that scene. Uh, Somebody want to get Fleabag back here? I know. No, I'm coming back. Camera zooms way out, and uh, we see this lovely title screen. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Quest complete. I'm embarrassed. Hey. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so boom. That's one, that's one way to get me to travel to Paris. <laughs> What um, would people like to call this session? Because I think um, Dubaruli eggs was funny, but there's probably a million things that's uh, clarify. 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 Um, clarify. Yeah, has to clarify. Clarify. <laughs> Just on its own, clarify. Yeah. Oh, clarify. yeah. There's like, what, half an hour of yeah. the two of them. <laughs> clarify this. Clarify that. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess it's clarify. Oh, definitely. Yeah, clarify. <laughs> I mean, that seems fair, right? Um, <laughs> I love that anyone looking at the chat would look at like, oh, let's clarify, and then click yeah. on it. Uh, so yeah, that do you was... want us to vote? <laughs> is is there other options? <laughs> no, clarify. Like I feel like clarify was the um, the clear winner. Yeah, uh, I posted one earlier, but it's kind of crap. Yeah, I posted who is a friend. Yeah, is this friend? <laughs> <laughs> also, the miss spoken was that. <laughs> um, Himini. Himani. Um, so, um, yeah. Himini like, cricket. The um, goals, folks. Let's talk about them, shall we? No. Let's start with Adair. Uh, your goal was completed, uh, buddy. It you was, finally. Um, all my giblets. No, um, I actually... no. You just need to not de-level in the future. By losing Alvin. Good luck. Wait, what now? Alvin's your map. <laughs> True. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yup. Alvin, which way? Um, I know it's that way, but I want to go that way. <laughs> oh, oh god, it's like learning to how to sail from Thea. Um... Uh, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, um, so on yeah. our goals page, what do I need to do right now? Do I copy paste and right? So let's just we'll keep a wee track it right. So there's um a, there's just one done so far right. So just you can move it down to a completed list if you want, or just delete it. I'm not fussed. Um, I shall just delete this cool. easier on me because I'm cool. It's me. Uh, what oh, about uh, Alvin? Alvin's just changed. No, um, sorry, I meant to type that up above. Um, I've changed it back. So learn more about Cynthia Von Vryn. I mean, you learned quite a bit tonight. We, we did what? learn quite a lot. I thought so. Uh, yeah. I also, you, like, what, I mean, yeah. how much are you, are you looking to date Learn her? that um, she's, you know, she wasn't actually ever queen, um, things like that. She, We learned that her body was never found, that her mm. grave lies empty. Mm. She's oh, dead, oh, damn it. I mean, I, I, I'd, I'd say so, it's complete. So we've got, at the moment, current XP is that. One goal. Mm. 
Again, she's where did you put that? A three hundred, right? Because it's level three times three hundred. That mm -hmm. brings you up to twenty eight hundred, right? Yeah. That's level, is level four. That's a level four. Yep. Right. Yeah. Then another goal complete. And I'll do this this way because it feels you know nice. I'd have argued for this if I was a player. So mm -hmm. learn more about Sintia von Rune. Mm -hmm. Right. So level four. That's four hundred more. Nice. Yeah, I'll that's, take 4200. Nah, that's a mistype, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very bad at typing, apparently. And, See, I was uh, okay with that. I know you were. I may be disappointed when I just, like, get you so close to your next level and drop it by a thousand. Yeah, <laughs> 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 I mean, All I'd say is the guys would be very surprised if that happened because of what happens to me when I level up. The, um, um, yeah, right. Um, yeah. <laughs> after a, that, we have... Right, so get rid of your goal, Alvin. Yep, I'm just changing it to... Same thing. Learn more about you've... yourself. Learn um, less I'm about Cynthia thinking... Von <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll come um, back to you, Adair. Just think about it. Right. Yeah. Uh, Cognac. No, but I think it will come out next week. I think Whether so. or not it's fulfilled or not is another question. Mm -hmm. uh, flea bite, I would say. Um... I don't think so, but I'll yep. try it. Yep. I think he went on an emotional journey when he realized that he is the only one of his kind in this world. Sadly, the interpretation of this, though, is huff magic rock. Um, okay. It is, uh, you know. <laughs> Merely a failing on Fleabite's part. Levi, I think you need this. to make more of an effort to reunite with me so I can crush you some more rocks, mate. Sorry, make more of an effort. He literally was on your head, <laughs> and then the actions of um, both of you yeah. led to your separation. One being put in cloaks because they tried to crowbar a woman's <laughs> teeth, and the other because a horse attacked a guard and then became an elephant that Man, spells I should on try him. and complete his quest. I gotta get her teeth. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you all the answers you want for one of your teeth. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, I'll give you all the answers you want. She is I weird, right? Back. So who knows? Um, and then a uh, right. Okay. So louder. Uh, yeah, totally. Right. Now I'm asking. Like, well, no, it's down to me to to <laughs> I to say if it's complete. Don't think anything happened, quite frankly, on that one. But I don't know if you want to shelf that for now. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm going to come up with something better, but I don't know if I'm going to think of it right now. That's fine, yeah. You were the bombshell of this episode, so... Okay. See ya. Uh, no. We're definitely going we're to get that done. Um, I think it would have maybe happened a little bit this session if people weren't snarky and... Ho, 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 ho! And... You know, <laughs> I, I believe it was... Oi, oi! <laughs> Oh, it was, um, I feel like if Thea hadn't been so perhaps touchy, she could just went, well, oh, due to your snark, he's now a party member. <laughs> <laughs> at, least, at this point, we could use more party members. Come on. Since, I mean, we're one down right now. Okay. Uh, since we lost the maybe horse, here's the, uh, yeah. here's the guy who's going with horse, horse. You know? <laughs> um, oh, you're a stable boy. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, and that's the team name for him. Oh, you're a stable boy. Yeah, he's going to leave, guys. <laughs> he's going to leave. Yeah, he is. <laughs> it doesn't just... say keep him in the party, it just means incorporate. He's yeah. going to get one session in, which is about 10 minutes in our scale, so... Look, guys, Wait, just so... give me enough to complete the goal, and then you can... <laughs> when you say incorporate him, I mean, Fleabite could kill him and wear him as like a skin human, and he's still part of the party, right? <laughs> 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 Well, if we I mean, take him to the dinner and we have skin. a party, then he's part of the party. If he might eat him, he's technically incorporated into food. Exactly. Food. And then he wears him as like a kind of cork. For a skaven to digest. <laughs> it's not long. <laughs> so I think that's the end of the XP train, right? I um, So everything's at 3200. Please update your totals. Um, so uh, you can't level up. Who'd have thunk it? Yeah. I fixed yours for you, dear. 
Thank you. Do we manually, just for future reference, is that a manual update or? Yeah, see on your like, character sheet, you just, top. I yeah, you've done it, yeah. Like you just type in the experience uh, number, what it should be. Right, cool. And then there's a button next to uh, it. Sometimes that button becomes a giant text box and it's annoying as hell, but. Cool. Um, I might not do that just now because I need to. Yeah, you know, I was going to say, it, like, if people want a hand leveling up, obviously let me know. Beyond that though, uh, let's talk about bonds quickly. Um, yeah, it's been a while. So, Adair. Indeed. Any bonds uh, come up this see. particular? Uh... Al wouldn't always have to help. Um, I don't know, i question his intelligence now. <laughs> no, I know that's that's a mean thing. Um, I feel I should change it to always have to help from ideas to help Alvin achieve his true... Ab Potential? Ability? Potential, thank you. Cool. Um... Yes, um, I'm going to quickly pop that into Word because my spelling's atrocious. No worries. Uh, what about everybody else then on the, your list? Anything else come up? Oh dear. Uh, oh, With callback, sorry, Fleabite, Lighter, Earthia. <laughs> yeah, but we so, have a review of them and you can do all the typing in the background. <laughs> That is very true, and I do apologize it's for okay. that. I got very distracted. Uh, so Cognac uh, will train together so that in battle will work well together. I'm more than happy to stick with that if he is, um, because I feel it's something we would have done for that year in the city. So when big battle comes up, we can work together, mm -hmm. as yeah. we say. Uh, Fleabite. Have Fleabite with his gambling and snorting issue. I don't feel I've quite achieved that as yet. Um, He's back down on his gambling issues uh, with myself, um, but I'm not sure about his snorting. I feel it's turned into one of those secret habits. Mm. Um, I've just not had the chance to watch Fleabite as yeah, much as I we've should. All, we've been a very real time timekeeping game for, uh -huh. for the recent, so yeah. I feel he might be keeping his stash on the turtle. <laughs> That's why he's always gripping onto the turtle. So I need to like, look no into comment. that because... <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I'm going to come back to that. Um, Watch I'm him aware. snort an entire bell next time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason uh, Fleabite wants Leuda yeah. back is to crush the bell for him. <laughs> I feel we're suddenly turning into like the... Like... Suddenly? Yeah, that's brave. Yeah, that's <laughs> <true>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Um, I, I understand yes. his behaviour better was your one with Lauda. I would say that's probably still ongoing because there was no Lauda for you to so, understand. I believe so, yes. Uh, unfortunately, he's next to death, as far as I know. So, uh, Also, we have to make up this little poster of Lost and Found. Mm -hmm. um, and for the, the picture uh, of like an the, elephant. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Alvin's describing it. He just hasn't got parchment yet. Yeah. Um, so I feel it's like I mean, you've watched uh, Avatar, yes. so remember where it's uh, Saka drawing, um, mm -hmm. oh my god, what's the monster? Oh, not the monster, you know what I mean. I Appa. Mean. Appa. 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 When he's drawing poster of Appa, and it's like, why has Appa got a thing coming out of his head? That's his nose! <laughs> that's my... Uh, the best part's when Toph goes, hey, Katara, they got you perfect. <laughs> yes. Or oh, the end scene. Hey, you drew her perfect. Yes. So Wait, good. you're blind. Yeah. Uh, but yes, that's anyway. that's how I believe Alvin's representation of uh, Lost Lyoda would be. Okay. Um, and I'm waiting to see that before I then think, oh, maybe we should go down another line mm -hmm. of finding Lyoda. Uh, but Thea, um, help repair Thea's mask. Now, I'm not going to lie, I have no idea what happened to the broken mask. I'm assuming she still has, but she's been off on little dates. Yeah, so. she went off on her own. Like, like, look at the beauty Valeria has to offer adventure versus exactly. everybody yeah. else, which was, let's go get trapped in the book for robots. a bit. Yeah, robots yeah. and books. <laughs> Love, death um, and robots. So there we go. I... Perfect. There you go. Yeah. Mm. Hey, where's the... Yeah. I just like, I like going to the book again. No, it's this all... isn't a review. This is the Bones. Talk about oh, the bonds. bonds. Sorry, I'm really fucking tired, man. Um, bonds. Um, Cocaine, steroids, and speed. Just a wee not really. Um, I real. I was hoping I would get a chance to bump into Laida, but we didn't because you know they're in a. Jail. That was a bit of a stretch. <laughs> hoping you'd see Laida. 
Yeah, um, but no, I've not really had the chance to bring up any of the other ones, man. Mm. Okay, yeah. Cool. Cognac? Uh, no, none of mine came up, but I changed one with Alvin. All right. Previously, it was um, the first part of that one. His obsession with knowledge is kind of scary. Um, um, and I've just changed the end part so it says, and worries Cognac. Because I, I find, like, when he was like, do you want to be studied? And he went, yes! Like I love the, the you know, a scary, like, his, you know, Alvin scares you the behaviour for, like, knowledge-seeking, and Cognac was the one talking to the book the most. Tell it's me it's this, the way this. he goes about it. Uh... Yeah. That's, no, I totally agree, especially that, yeah, I'll totally expose myself to you. I'm sure that seems safe. <laughs> uh, anything else I mean, to change? A... On yours, Cognac? Uh, nothing else. Okay, next we have Fleabite. Um, no, I think none of mine really came up. Um, the closest would have been with their um, just getting the better wisdom score, but that didn't really, that wasn't really a tangible thing to do, so I think just the image. I don't know, I'd say like enough came up if you wanted to change it, yeah. I'd rather not at this stage, to be honest. That's fine, yeah. I louder. It's a bit of a stretch. All of mine came up, right? But, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, clearly nothing. Yeah, I'd say, um, <coughs> Definitely a, a solo Lyra adventure that was. Um, see ya. Um, mine with Ranin came up. Yeah, ev evidently. Um, um, he marks inspiration. That's about it. Yay! <laughs> I don't. I think I've already got inspiration. No, anyway. he. You don't. Oh, he gets inspiration. Oh, yay! Mm. Good. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, no, nothing else came up for obvious reasons. Good, okay, yeah, cool. Uh... So, Ryan, can you double check my bond with Alvin if I've worded that correctly? Once they help Alvin's ability to focus on their task at hand, and oh, if you change cognac now, it's... yeah, that seems fine. I think that works. Is that cool? Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, right, now we're on to a wrap up chat. Scott, do you want to start us? <laughs> Like I was saying before, I like going into the book and I liked it even better that it was just like being like completely blank to a dare and just like, yeah. Um, I, I know it's probably not a popular thing, but I do like it when teams get split up somewhat. Um, and it is nice that there's like kind of three different storylines going on now. I agree with that. I like yeah. that. Yeah, cool. You should play in the Starfinder game where there's sometimes uh, four different yeah. timelines on the go. Um, that's hell. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I was gonna, I was gonna try and argue that it's not hell, but no. Uh, dear. <laughs> um, no, tonight was good. Uh, it was annoying that I couldn't just ask the book a question, mm -hmm. uh, but that was down <laughs> to my role, which I love the aspect of. Ah, I have full of confidence. Oh no, I can't actually do. <laughs> Guys, could you like mm. ask the book? <laughs> but by the time I actually got my question out to anyone, it was like, wait, what did you say? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I was thinking on the spot. Come on. Um, so no, I did enjoy that. Um, but I think we got uh, just about everything we needed. There. I think as well the the interesting thing to take away from that very specific aspect is it kind of tells you what um, Richter um, cares about. In a person, doesn't it? Yeah. So definitely. I mean, again, if we but, meta game dice rolling and look at his first interactions with Thea, um, he was definitely impressed by Thea, um, who like shrugged off the effects of one of his spells. So, you know, there we are. I just only realised we never got down to how what he was painting, no. or casting, or. Creating, but that's for another good, another yeah, day. Yeah, that could be, you know. 
You could have asked the book that. Why does he craft paintings instead of painting them? Why? That was actually something he said he wanted to ask, and I was like, oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't able to ask. Well, speaking of segueing into Cognac's opinions, and weirdly I called Scott Scott at the start of Alvin for the, the wrap-up chat, but that's fine. Cognac. Uh, uh, I was a bit worried I was taking up too many minutes asking questions because I asked a lot of questions. But um, I actually realised I really enjoyed asking questions and thinking about them. And I, I totally play a game where all you did was ask questions and try and acquire knowledge <laughs> and then remember what you asked and stuff. That sounds like really fun. I mean, so if you want to make like a D&D &D world... Quiz master. I was going to say, yeah. no, no, what you said is he wants to DM. That's what you just said. Yeah. It's literally <laughs> I want to DM plus I play and it's just me and I ask questions and I'm not allowed to actually play the game. I just have to ask questions. That's <laughs> DMing. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say, just um, make a make a citizen of Runestad, right? Be trapped in the book on a different chapter, and uh, we'll have that side game. So <laughs> the uh, master dog. The uh, the people of Runestad are, are trapped inside the book. Interesting development. Yep, clearly this just in. <laughs> yep, what Ryan says after the game's totally canon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Those people's bodies are there. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, I felt like we got a lot done, even though we didn't go anywhere or speak to anyone other than Richter. But I feel like we, we did achieve a lot today, so that was good. Now, someone stole a bell, so... Yeah, yeah. Like bells were stolen. You spoke to Jezebel. Uh, Jezebel's origin story confirmed. Yeah, right. Uh, no tinfoil hat for Clark. loads. Yeah, loads. Uh, there was a tailoring episode, right? Like, yeah. Um, here we are. Flea bite. Yeah, lots of fun. Um, I I was really happy that um, his that flea bites um, like his stealth roll at the start, even though it was at disadvantage, but he still actually rolled really quite high on that. Oh yeah, it was good. Was quite, Very good, in fact. <laughs> and. Yeah, just that I I know it's a bit of a, a trope with like D and D the whole like murder hobo that steals everything, but um, and the sort of kleptomania. Um, so I I try not to play too much into that, but also that kind of is play by it. So um, it's like saying I don't want to be the murder hobo trope, but I am. So yes, <laughs> yeah. It's, I think that's a justification you're, you're, every single murder hobo player has said. Um, also but he's for, doing it subtly. Uh, for clarity as well, I totally forgot that it said uh, you have to put your ear up against your thing to hear it, so yeah, I have no issue with it being as it's written. Um, well, uh, that's because I really like that whole thing with them, the other players noticing it and it being like a flavour thing. It's just if I have to try and like stealth roll, you know, even if I'm obscured and everything and something says because of that, I would get a bit of and yes, but the the bell I feel is going to be a liability when I try to stealth and it starts jingling or something. I mean, the stick was separate to it, right? Yeah, but there's one of ones with the stick inside it. So all he has to do is pad the thing, and yeah. it, it'll be fine. Like that's that's it. It's not technical. You wrap it in some kind of cloth, right? Just make sure oh, nothing is... can like clang off of it. Next game, Fleabite takes off his underwear and stuffs it into the bell. <laughs> <laughs> you think flea bites wearing underwear? That was my exact oh words. god! That was my exact words that I didn't need to say because I knew he would say them for me. <laughs> if flea bites attempt to recreate the ticking amulet, but he just makes a wee brooch that bells. I just that is very on brand flea bite, actually. <laughs> <laughs> just smacks the bell <laughs> off people. Bells are a really important part of like given symbology, so it's like actually. Very possible. Um, I, I, um, I should have asked this earlier, but Fleabite, do you have an actual image of how you see yourself? Like, have you found fan art or anything of yeah, what you see yourself as? It's in the... Is it the wee... I mean, the um, the wee Skaven slave that uh, we use is pretty pretty close. Um, that's that's what he would look like without his sort of uh, his, his armour and stuff. I, I might see if I can find a better one Thank to you. reflect his more sneakiness 
but yeah, <laughs> that's not far. Because so, in there, it looks like you're you're not you're wearing shoulder pads in this wee picture, and you know your face and whatnot. But I'm like, no, he's covered all over, as in you ain't running around crotchless. Sounds like a really long mangy fur, though. So yeah, the the mangy matted dirt. <laughs> mm -hmm. And he also wears mage armor that covers him all the time. <laughs> So, so you do. So yeah, yes. and that looks like tattered robes. So yeah, no, like this, <laughs> he, he purposely tries to get more dirty. Like, nah, that's cool. No, it's I that wee image. It's not often I actually look at that one. I will not lie, because I'm terrible at zoning in on those oh, things. Let's just uh, do a quick uh, review. So one, two, three. One, so two, three. Yep. Wait. One, two, three. Just to remind so I everything. always think of. Oh, no two, wonder Haran wanted it. Huh. Right. Wait, look at that guy. He's handsome. One, two, three. Oh, so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's One, pretty two, accurate. Three. It's exactly how I see everyone. Right? Um, nice. People play their art pretty see, well. I, see, Thea, I get confused because on Discord you're the, the character from. Uh, was it oh, Reboot? Reboot, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Whereas on the game, you're. That lassie. Yeah, that's but that term. lassie was inspired entirely by the character from Reboot, so there we go. It's, uh, ah, I'm there a mask on there. Right? Yeah. The um, flea bite, though, anything else you want to add? Yeah, just I think um, it, um, I, I liked having that just slightly more self aware moment that, mm -hmm. you know, um, that flea bite is completely alone and having been raised with literally millions of his kin that it's kind of he, it's almost impossible for him to comprehend that. Yeah, like the idea that like in a city maybe you just assume everybody else is hiding that is like you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Whereas like you now have like this book's confirmation that Runestead is devoid of Skaven besides you. Which is and, it's big deal. like I you might, I went through all like the names of Skaven in other languages. Mm -hmm. and, that I can find. That's what I was saying um, to it as well. Just to try and make sure it wasn't just mistaken identity. Yep, but it definitely seems to be like, at least in Runestad anyway. Ain't no Skaven. Yeah, great session. Uh, let's skip Lyuda and go to Thea. Again. Yeah, I had, um, that was really fun. I enjoyed that a lot. I really do, as um, I think it was I can't remember who said it actually, <laughs> but uh, like having the the sort of three stories going on um, in a non in mm -hmm. yes it was uh, in a non um, space time horrible um, when are we jankiness um, to find out more maybe, please maybe, visit Starfinder the fragments of eternity yeah. also available on this I mean channel. maybe to <laughs> Some hinting of that uh, with Laiuda's uh, entrapment, um, but uh, to be fair, still, Thea was know. a bit ahead of the party. She was like maybe about an hour ahead of everybody anyway, um, give or take. That's basically time. current time, though. Yeah. <laughs> like watching The Witcher. Mm. Um, no, it's but yeah, just no, because it was of nice. the last game. To be honest, it's nothing to do with The Witcher. It's all to do with Starfinder and the horrible timelines. Um, it's 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 ghastly, um, wonderful but ghastly. Uh, I really enjoyed all the book stuff and the the scrambling for questions and the the you know clarify battle and trying to word questions in such a way that you can get an answer out of it was just I just really enjoyed that whole that whole scene I guess. Um, it was it was really good and then all of Lauda's stuff was just. Ah, ah. So, see if this guy in the book has any kind of sentience. How annoyed must he be when he's taken to school, right? And all the kids go, but why? But why? But why that? But why this? Why did he do that? Imagine oh, all the man. questions. Imagine the kids class of kids just oh. saying clarify to him for an hour. Clarify? Yeah. I think he'd be more annoyed when the kids rub their boogers on his leg. <laughs> <laughs> I just I missed the perfect opportunity. Whilst that was happening, you know, my character couldn't ask a question, so... Let's face it, I'd been walking around in the background, flaming my arms out, like, this is not fair, for fuck's sake, what the hell is going on? I should have just gone, 
How do I make the perfect omelette? And then he actually answered my one question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he was he just said like, dragon I'm... eggs, right? Just to be horribly sassy. Oh, oh I don't love that. <laughs> if I'd taken the chance to be asking random questions and he actually went, now you each all get one question and I didn't hear that just to be going, how do you make an omelette? Yeah. Break three eggs. Wait, what? <laughs> Sorry, I realize it's metagaming and what our no, past times or whatnot, but yeah. That's fine. Uh, see ya. Um, I mean, other than that, like, I mean, obviously, Haranin's growing on me as a character. Mm. I didn't think he would, but he is. Growing on you? <laughs> growing you saved on me, like, um, and, um, Moving on, Lauda. <laughs> And no, I think the the funny thing about this is the fact that um, like Cognac, not wrong, he did pay for your date, and that is still <laughs> very weird. That's true. <laughs> like he never paid, no, he never paid for Haranan to go on the date with you. He paid so that she still had money, right? Even though mm-hmm. he wasn't going to be working. So, yeah, he basically bought him a holiday. Um, so he's your enabler. At least, yeah. <laughs> so I think that's very true in real life as well. <laughs> I could. I wouldn't there. know. Yeah, you're I'm oblivious just... to my enablers. You're, yeah, like you're <laughs> deliberately oblivious, so you don't self sabotage. I um, anything else you want to add to you? Safest option. Uh, no, thank you for running. It was lovely. It was good. I had fun. Always oh, good, dude. I Lauda. Last but not least. Greetings. Hello. Um, yeah, um, it was it was strangely fun and interesting to not talk for 90% of the session. <laughs> Which sounds nuts, but yeah. <clears throat> no, just being able to like, listen in and um, give random meta mm-hmm. <laughs> Comments in the, in the Discord chat when people forgot stuff or something. <laughs> Ask, Wait, who forgot is in... <laughs> But yeah, no, that that was. Um, and oh. I, I think I think, it, I think it got more of a a knowledge of how he works from just listening to an entire session without being mm. without being. But then, yeah, that twist with Laida was like, what the fuck. And yeah. I tried so hard not to just tell her about the egg, but, <laughs> but who knows, maybe telling her about the egg is the best thing that could have happened. Maybe I'm just going to pick up the egg and teleport back to Runestad and just have it, you know? Uh, maybe it wasn't clear, but this egg is um, bigger than you. I'm big. Like, <laughs> like big. I'm a okay. big. Boy. Yeah. Like... Tell you what, guys. I'll do a very quick wee doodle, right? A very quick wee doodle. Mm. Let's 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 break some more meta, right? So we've got quick wee doodle. There we go. Lady levels There's up. Lady. Doing... <laughs> okay. There we go. It looks like it's a pound sign. I mean, yeah, I see Lauda there. Yeah. There's Lauda. I see Lauda. All right. Okay. And then, oh, I don't know why that's continuing on. Let me just escape all that because my mouse is stuck. Apparently, please stand by. All I've stuck with is Lyuda, so. Right, so Are there's what my mouse did. Head to the right. <laughs> oh, don't, Jesus. Don't ask her. It's not egg. It's definitely scrambled already. Don't ask yep. what that was. That was Big my... Is this um, dragon gonna be? That was, um, so it turns out when I asked the book about the omelette, there we go. No, that was just my, my mouse being weird for some reason. Um, the omelette the size of a house. Nope, it's just <laughs> actually roll 20 is being weird. Okay. okay. Look at that. I can actually... <laughs> wow. Well... In that case, Could, I guess I'll, why don't... I'll just use the line tool, I guess, oh, the line tool. to try and hint at the size of it. So there's the side you saw. Um... Okay. Oh. Wow. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Right. Lauda, just... you're what? Seven, eight feet. Yeah, eight feet. So um, <laughs> Lauda just learns all the fire spells he possibly can from this level up and casts them underneath this egg to try and hatch it. <laughs> He's, he plays the cooking game now. <laughs> um, I was to ask you show up. So, Lauda doesn't have magic, so he's just there with two sticks rubbing them together. No, Wait. sticks are a bad Wait. thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry. Lauda, 
anything else you would like to add to this uh, everything else having a go at your character <laughs> um, I, I need a long rest I don't I know when does. I'm going to get it but <laughs> I definitely need a long rest um, for many reasons but yeah mm -hmm. um, who knows when the hell I'm going to get that now but yeah, yeah right um, Come to dinner with the king and fall asleep. It's fine. How? From from Barris? Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he is, if you were really small, then you could just be asleep and be carried. <laughs> yeah. But I need to like have a, a short rest at least to become a wild shape to then become a small thing, and then I wake up every hour because I turn back into an elephant. Your pocket just rips <laughs> in an elephant miniature. <laughs> 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 Hey, no, I can get four hours of wild shape now, so... Oh, yeah, because, yeah, you've levelled up. Um, yeah. But, yeah, that's going to be... Um, I think maybe Lehuda levels up just out of sheer clenching reaction <laughs> to the upcoming <laughs> quest, quite frankly. Level up through clenching. Yep. I love it. Um, <laughs> it makes sense, right? It might be the name of the chapter. Um, <laughs> Clench harder, you'll level up further. Clench. Oh. Press, yes. Sure. Yes, that's that. Um, no. Good. I think um, if nothing else, like you can at least understand um, Cynthia a bit more as well, right? Um, sure. Like uh, not only you, but just like I guess the group at large, right? And as players, I mean more so than as characters. Like there's. Mm. This is a very, yeah. let's yeah. learn about Cynthia session, quite frankly. Or learn what we are allowed to know and not allowed to know about yes. Cynthia. I, I feel the book is very controlled. I like the little, that moment of, it's like, uh, like on the internet, like you're trying to load something and suddenly it mm -hmm. ditters and skips a wee moment. It's like, oh, sorry, yeah. the information you're looking for is not available. Please yeah. try again, never. I mean, so how many people have thought of a million meta questions to ask the book now that I learned? <laughs> oh, God, yeah. I mean, it's worse. I couldn't ask anything. So I'm like... It, 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 yeah. I'm like, can I use Fleabite as a Muppet? Like, like a ventriloquist doll? Um, it is one of those things where it's... I think it's definitely more interesting. Maybe not more... I was going to say more useful, but definitely more interesting knowing what we're not allowed to know. From the mm. book, like what's restricted, mm. then it is actually just getting the information. Oh yeah, because um, it really does give the feel, the kind of vibe that like Callum's been getting from the whole of Runestad anyway, is that you know everyone's sort of kind of controlled. Mm -hmm. There might not be city guard, but they're under an influence. Uh, might not be necessarily whether or not they know magic, that as well. Is, yeah. 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 What's in the water? <laughs> it's almost like you have somebody from Runestad potentially about to join the party. Uh, yeah. <gasps> oh my god. No, the librarian. Not. Yeah, Jezebel. Run an info dump. Haran <laughs> <laughs> is just going to be a skin suit for skin for oh It's going to be so hard to kill when we find out he's evil. <laughs> oh man, this is where we get a lot of. Um, I don't know, Wait. Thea might have to become very overprotective very quickly. <laughs> also, if he um, turns out to be evil, are you going to be like upset or happy? Catch you later, because, Scott. I mean... Bye, Good night. Bye. Be Bye. well of sleeping. Bye. Bye. Scotty, be at my gone. place for 11-ish tomorrow. He's, he's, he's gone. gone. He's already he's gone. gone. So, oh, is that a new uh, magical item, well of sleeping? So, <laughs> regardless <laughs> of all of this, um, the one thing I will say to Adair uh, before we sign off on everything recordings mm -hmm. and such will be a uh, keep in mind that you asked a question about um Th like Thea's mask and in the meta yes. you know why her mask broke because some women in an alleyway with jeweled teeth headbutted her in the face oh my god yeah I've got that. and uh, say goodbye everybody bye, bye everybody bye, bye.